Well, on this week's Scene 13, we're talking about a sensitive topic that a writer in Macon wants to shed some light on. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony is live in Macon with more this morning. Good morning, TJ. Good morning, Frederick. So a movie filmed in central Georgia is shedding light on a topic that millions go through, but some may be afraid to speak up about. It's domestic violence and a Macon film writer, he wants to be part of the solution to help break that cycle. It really traumatizes the kids and they grow up with that. So it turns into like a generational curse. Maconite Christopher Hughes is talking about domestic violence. According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner within the U.S. Now that's more than 10 million men and women a year. I do know a friend that went through it. She told me her story, so um, I just wanted to get that story out there. Hughes wants to raise awareness for the fight against domestic violence through his new movie, Curse of a Father. The film was mostly shot around central Georgia. It illustrates the impact domestic violence has not only on adults, but also kids who grow up around it. Vasco Sanders plays a child who witnessed domestic violence between his parents, and when he grows up, the audience gets to see how it impacts him in his adult life. Well, he kind of started treating his wife the way he saw his father treat his mom. Because your dad did something, you don't have to do it. Because your granddad did something, you, know, you still don't have to do it. It's, it's just a generational curse that's passed down, so we have to break those generational curses. Domestic violence can be physical, it can be mental, it can be verbal. In 2019, it's reported that Georgia domestic violence programs answered just over 52,000 crisis calls. Hughes says that's too much, and he wants to be a part of the solution. And the movie is premiering next Saturday at the Douglas Theater, which we are at right now. And if you or anyone you know is facing domestic violence, we do have resources listed on 13WMAZ.com. Live in Macon, TJ Anthony, 13 WMAZ News. Back to you all in the studio. Thank you, TJ. And the premiere day, as he just mentioned, is next Saturday, September 30th. They will have two shows that day, one at 3 p.m. and the other at 6.30 that evening.